Hold on, hold on, sorry. Ah, hello? 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 Um. Hi. My name is CJ, or Chelsea, or uh, Joy, or whatever. I didn't really plan on what to say. It, I, I just opened and started the camera and I'm also not used to seeing my face or at least this much of it because I usually usually cover it with um what is that thing? It's a pop pop filter. It's around it's about four AM now. Four AM November twenty seven. And I guess the best way to start this is I really should be using a pop filter. I don't know how I sound. I'm i I'm very sorry. I know how I look. I know I look as pixelated as all hell. But that's that's fine with me. Oh it's Friday. Sorry. Don't get distracted. Um around this time yesterday uh, okay, to be more specific, around three AM I don't know how to position myself because um, again I'm not used to doing this, showing my face. Around this time about three o'clock in the morning. I should know because I was there. Um, my mother passed away due to that's the right way to describe this. It's been a really really long week and I woke up today after sleeping for 10 hours straight. <laughs> I thought I was going to take a nap when I fell asleep at 6 p.m. yesterday but don't get distracted. Everybody is asleep and after this I'll be going to the living room where our mother is currently at cremated thanks to uh, Karael Botol and Cremations thank you for all the help that you gave us yesterday um, ah fair that this this was the initial purpose of turning the camera on showing this ugly face I wanted to say thank you I hope this mic is catching hello hi hi I wanted to say thank you and it should be really more grand than that but seven or I guess eight days has passed and okay okay I'll start from the beginning I guess seven days ago around November it was Thursday November 19 our mother had her second third stroke um it wasn't it was completely out of the blue for me and i have only i guess queer bernard if you're watching this to thank the most because i was at work and uh it was a normal thing that i couldn't there wasn't any signal in the office i was currently in which that's fine with me because i usually don't text people don't really chat as much uh there's a, there's a long story there but poison case in point um on that day especially in that morning or it was around 10 a.m i was doing my thing until he came to our office and told me that i've been missing calls because our sis my sisters my sisters have been calling me saying that my mom had been rushed to the hospital again. Of course, I pack up as no, no, I don't. I didn't actually. No, I didn't pack up. I went there as soon as I could to Doctor uh, Kalaikai's Santa Cecilia Med Medical Hospital, which is a private hospital that we've been going to for as long as I can remember. I guess she was rushed, rushed there, and it was, it was there. I got the story that uh, she was in the room in her room typing away at her laptop i think she was planning to go to school back to work as she had been recently doing and she had just fell to the floor and that's when everything began my point i guess the point i'm trying to make in this video is not to be sad i'm trying to be thankful because I really am. It's just that I have a hard time showing it sometimes. Everybody, for the past seven days, because, okay, it's probably an essential point in the story for those who don't know, she was in a coma. She has 
had been in a coma for the past seven days. I'm sincerely hoping you can hear me. I'm trying not to wake people up. And for the past for the past seven days, where me and my younger sister then uh, have been looking after her in the hospital because we are the only ones allowed to be there. Safest to be allowed, that's it. She and I are around our 20s and our two younger sisters are both teenagers. So the safest option for all of us was to, for me and her to be in the hospital. The two youngest ones would stay at home. And for the past seven days, one of the first things that the, the doctor said was the only hope that my mother... Also, I'm sorry that I'm using English. I'm really sorry. It's If I'm going to tell people the truth, I feel like I'm. I'll, it'll be easier for me to do it this way. I'm trying my best to slow down. I'm really, really sorry. Am I? I'm going to put subtitles here. I'm sorry, future me. If you want to blame anyone for me using English all the time, blame it on my mother. Doc Kalekai and others have pretty much agreed that her only hope was to get brain surgery. Um, what happened was on her first stroke last year, her left brain had hemorrhaged and while she did recover, uh, her the left side of her body did had some issues. She could still walk, she could still talk, most importantly, she could still enjoy herself. I've repeated this almost all too many times this past week but Ma, our mother is the kind of person her whole attitude is that she doesn't she doesn't like not being able to move if that makes sense she loves just doing things she loves going around she loves having fun making us smile I guess and uh, the main factor to why she why her condition had become like this was because of stress mostly um, we've us four sisters we knew what her attitude is like so every time she wants to do something cook clean do the laundry others other stuff like that we would do our best to help her out because what what else are we supposed to do and around the time that she she first was reco first was recovering uh, we I helped her walk the papers for her retirement because it was the logical thing to do but and I guess I should have questioned this a little bit more but she decided to get back to work in um, as a high school teacher because I I can only assume so much but it's it's what she's done almost her entire life or well at least at least that's what she told me according to her she told me she started teaching at around 18 years old and the the, 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 the timeline of that is a little confusing but I guess she started as a sub and then just kept going and I guess if you really really love doing something it's you just don't see it as a job. <laughs> Where, what was the point of this video? <laughs> what am I doing? Okay, right, right. Thank yous. Okay. But uh, the story isn't over, so I still have the CD scan results with me right now, and I don't know if I'll, if we'll be showing it in the public. I don't. I don't know if that's. No, no, we're not. We're not doing that. No. But basically, it was, it was worse this time around. Now. It's her right brain that's gotten hemorrhage and blood had started to pour out and her only chance of really surviving was getting her brain surgery uh, by a neurosurgeon to take off her blood clot but that but a surgery wouldn't be possible unless oh also it's raining I forgot it's raining it's it hasn't rained in a very long time she wouldn't be able to get surgery until she woke up. According to the doctors, the best thing to do is, or the best way to see if she has any signs, of, any good chances of recovery is if she wakes up within seven days. At least that's what I remember. <laughs> seven days was the optimal waiting time, I guess. And I keep saying I guess. I, I know. But I don't just in case I'm wrong, <laughs> I could be wrong with 
the, seven, the past eight days have been blurry <laughs> a little a little blurry but some memories are still fresh so i guess that's why i'm making this video as well to um, get everything out before i forget them first five days we spent in dr kalekai's and during those five days a lot of not just during those five days even up until now a lot of people and i guess this is the point of this video the point i'm trying to make it's one of the things i truly truly didn't expect to come out of the, all of this there just to give you the context mama knows that i've i'm not or at least recently i'm not the type to go out and hang out with people i've always been an indoor z person i don't want to call myself a loner because that that feels kind of degrading but i've always kind of isolated myself or at least those are what my recent memories are and the reason why what what's happened the past seven days has shocked me it's because a lot of people have been showing up to help and i, I don't i don't know why it's shocked me so much i guess my point is all the help that arrived for our mothers is something i would have never expected to happen at all it, it 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 just caught me by surprise, I guess, and I don't know if my sisters could tell. Uh, I mean, the for on the first day, they just told me to give my now give my account uh, bank account numbers and other possible ways that, that I know people could uh, donate money to mom's case too. So I gave my Gcash, my my number, and my PayPal account, and I guess. I should have it's it's my bad that I didn't really expect anything or I wasn't thinking really in my mind the only thing I was thinking was how um one what my sisters needed at home to be able to be comfortable at by themselves because they they know how at least for now our our mom has taught us enough to survive on our own I just needed to make sure that they had everything they needed at home and then two how to make the the stay at the hospital comfortable and uh, for lack of a better description i just let my sisters do what they want with social media because as far as i'm concerned they're much better at it i don't say this lately they did they did a much much better job of it than I ever could have because out of nowhere I get messages and messages uh, donations after donations of people I have no idea who they are but according to uh, when, when I asked my sisters uh, it's and look at what they posted on social media uh, I saw what they did and they again to re reiterate one of them is a 20 year old two of them are teenagers and they made this entire donation drive for our mother by themselves and just just to give you like just to give you an image of how how surprised i was there were many very uh, there were many moments uh, during those seven days that i couldn't sleep or i, I guess i've had enough sleep but could, didn't really know what to do in the morning i would look at the messages of the people because uh, in Gcash there's the option to uh, send messages and also through PayPal and I will go through those messages and I guess one of the calming things that I do without like, really thinking about is counting I don't know I, I just like counting I guess do I like counting I'm not sure but I gave myself the task of encoding all the people that have sent donations and I thought it was going to be just a walk in the park. I thought it would be done by the end of like maybe an hour. Until now I'm still not finished with the list of people. It's gotten to the point where it's reaching around the 300 mark and that's only on Gcash and it's a bunch of... <sighs> I'm just trying to find the right words. Uh, a bunch of just people I don't know but I could see in the messages that 
they were my mom, mom's friends, mom's students, mom's co-workers, and a lot of classmates. And I don't know why that boggles me so much. Uh, uh, I isolate myself a lot, but I don't really, try, I don't really try to put too much attention to it. I know for a fact that I do have some issues. I have some issues that need to be taken care of, but it still astounds me until now to see, to still see just how much, how many people are coming in to help, still, and. And not, and not, here's the thing, here's the kicker. It's not just her friends, it's not just the relatives, it's even people I barely remember. I, old classmates from college, from high school, that I hardly remember. I keep saying remember, and uh, yeah, not, not, I don't think I have enough time to explain that right now, but I guess there's this um, misconception or yeah, this misconception in my head that if, if I don't remember someone, they probably don't remember me and that's completely illogical, but point being, it's just I really truly didn't expect how much help has come our way, especially for the people we don't even know. And. Thank you. Thank you, I guess. Thank you. Say it better. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much to everyone. We've been receiving messages of con, 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 how do I? Condolences? I don't know how to say it. Filipino accent. Condolences. And I guess this was to answer all of the thank yous and the condolences. I thought this was the best way to do it. Also, if you're new to this YouTube channel, yeah, I this is a channel I have to just dump my videos and stuff. Please don't just ignore it. It's just full of gaming videos and speed paints and I, I, I even made it a second channel just to put the speed paint in it because this is completely unorganized. Anyway, I want to mention specific names but at, at the moment it's still a little fuzzy. But I guess to all of my mom's friends, my mom's co-workers, batchmates, classmates here and there, I, I, I have to be honest, I don't know any of you. Well, not, not not really. One thing I'm really surprised about is one of my teachers that used to be my mom's batchmate, apparently, encouraged a lot of other batchmates to help and that's... <laughs> Trust me, this, other than this seven, these seven days being really, really hectic, it's also been str a little weird to see just how many people are there that know her. A lot of people coming together collectively just to see her wake up. I've never really been good asking for help. I'm completely terrible with asking for help if it has some if it's about just me. I'm glad my sisters were there. I'm grateful for the, to them for being able to ask help in my stead. And I guess that's why it's still registering to me now how many people have come together to see my mother smile again to dance again to just be herself you know i think this i think this video has gone long enough i guess the last thing i want everybody to know is that well, yesterday was the eighth day of her comatose and i was there i was there when she finally passed and finally found peace and i have tried in my in everybody's in my sister's stead not not to sound like i'm bragging but i did try my best to ease her pain in the only way i knew how i i don't know if this is the right place to explain what happened or explain her last moments because that's a moment for her and for i guess for the people who love her but if there's anything i know about her is that she wouldn't want to know that she lived her life with regrets so i tried in the very last hours to make sure she didn't regret anything i tried to tell her that she has nothing to worry about that us four we can we can we'll be okay maybe not now 
maybe not tomorrow, but soon, sooner or later, we will be okay. We can look after each other and she's taught us everything we needed to know. And if there's something that we didn't know how to do, I'm pretty sure we can figure it out. If it's one thing you'll always learn from a teacher, from growing up with a teacher, is that you never, never stop learning. And yeah, thank you again to every single one of you, to the friends she's had her entire life, to the friends I guess I haven't met yet, haven't made yet. She wouldn't want this to be sad. We know her. All of us know her. If anything has to be remembered in this in this moment, it's that we shouldn't be we shouldn't be sad. But if you are sad, it's that's good. Please allow yourselves to be sad, but also allow yourselves to be happy for all all the memories, all the good memories you have with her. It's what we've been trying to do the past few days. Just remember all the good times because there are a lot of good times. Lots and lots of good times. Even I have personally just with her. I could I could spend an entire separate video just telling stories. Telling stories about what she and I and even the family have gone up to just because they're they're silly and they're funny and yeah. Be happy with all the memories that you have with her. Remember her and she'll never really die in your hearts. I'm not sure exactly what I'm supposed to say but people are starting to wake up. I can hear people out outside. But yeah, thank you for tolerating this ugly mug for how many? Oh, <laughs> nearing 30 minutes. Okay, we'll do our best to send updates. If you'd like to visit visit her we have about a week to have her her urn to stay here and for the funeral and after that we will be burying her next to our dad thank you thank you everybody for everything for all that you've done <laughs> i wish i could i probably should have planned this more if people want me to share stories that we have i'll do my best to thanks again See you guys in the next one. Take care. Stay safe. Stay hydrated. But don't be don't get too don't 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 be like me and use coffee for hydration all the time. Thanks again. Take care. Stay safe. See you guys in the next one.